Hi everyone, this is Rhonda from Mbaka Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Carol Cowl. This is a winter cowl crochet pattern and it's fitted to sit nicely under your jacket or your coat. You can wear it in a number of ways and it is closed with four buttons or four toggle clasps. So you can wear it with two, one, four, or none. It's up to you. It also makes a lovely scarf pattern and I have included information to help you make the scarf longer or shorter if you need it shorter. You will need one cake of Karen Sprinkle Cakes yarn from Yarnspirations and you will need an 8mm L hook. The color I'm using is Mocha Rainbow and the hook I'm using is my Clover Amour hook. You will also need four buttons 22mm across or four toggle clasps and the ones I'm using for this scarf are 30 millimeters across. To begin, place a slip knot on your hook and we're going to work 60 foundation single crochet stitches. So chain two, And beginning in the second chain from your hook, working under the back loop and the back bump of the stitch, yarn over and pull up one loop. Now chain one. And I pinch that chain stitch because we're going to work into it again. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. That's your first foundation single crochet stitch. For your next stitch, we're going to work into that chain that we pinched from the first stitch. Insert your hook under the back loop and the back bar of the stitch. Yarn over and pull up one loop. Chain one and pinch the new chain stitch. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops on your hook. And we're going to repeat that until we have 60 foundation single crochet stitches in total. So insert your hook under the back loop and the back bar of that chain stitch. Yarn over your hook and pull up one loop. Chain one and pinch the chain stitch. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. Working under the chain stitch from the last foundation single crochet, Insert your hook under the back loop and the back bar of the stitch. Yarn over and pull up one loop. Chain one. Pinch the new chain stitch. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops on your hook. Continue making your foundation single crochet stitches until you have 60 in total. chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're skipping the first stitch and in the next stitch, we're working one single crochet and one half double crochet. Skip the next stitch Work one single crochet and one half double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch. Work one single crochet and one half double crochet in the next stitch. And repeat this all the way across, skipping one stitch and then working one single crochet and one half double crochet in the next stitch. At the end of the row, chain one and turn your work. You will have 30 single crochet stitches and 30 half double crochet stitches. Row three to row 12 is exactly the same as row two. 
So we skip the first stitch. We work one single crochet and one half double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch. Work one single crochet and one half double crochet in the next stitch. And repeat that all the way across. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. Continue working this until you have 12 rows in total. And then we're going to work on our finishing instructions. So remember not to finish off after the end of row 12. You will need to have your working yarn still on your hook. At the end of row 12, we chain one and we are going to rotate our work to begin our edging. So rotate your work and we're going to work one single crochet and one half double crochet in every other row end. So work one single crochet and one half double crochet. Skip the next row end in the next space, work one single crochet and one half double crochet. And work this across until you reach the corner. At the end of this short row for the edging, we're going to have six single crochets and six half double crochets. At the end, chain one and rotate your work to work along the bottom of the foundation row. Work one single crochet and one half double crochet in the base of every stitch where you already worked the single crochet and half double crochet for row two. chain one and rotate your work. On the other side edge, we're going to work one single crochet and one half double crochet in every other row end. At the end of the short row, we're going to be slip stitching to the first single crochet at the top edge of the work and then finishing off. You'll have six single crochets and six half double crochets on this side edge. Next, we're going to weave in all of our ends and then we're going to add our buttons. I chose to use toggle clasps instead they're approximately 30 millimeters long. You can instead use buttons if you'd prefer. The buttons that I found worked were 22 millimeter buttons and you will need four. If you're making your scarf instead of the cowl, you can omit the buttons altogether. Place your project on a flat surface with the right side of the work facing you. So that means the edging you crocheted, the fronts of the stitches will be facing you. And now we're going to be putting the buttons on one edge of the scarf. I placed one in each of the corners and then the other two buttons are about six inches away from the first set of buttons to make a complete square. This allows you to wear the cowl in a number of different ways.
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial to learn how to make the carol cowl. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to follow along on my blog for free crochet patterns and tutorials. Thanks so much and have a great day.